I want to point out something very important related to magnesium. It's actually not as easy as you think to get it from your diet. And sometimes when you ask people like what foods are high in magnesium, um, they don't really know. They might say bananas or something like that, but you would have to consume 11 cups of bananas to get your daily amount of magnesium. And you would have to consume even more bananas to get your potassium. So I wanna tell you the type and the quantity of certain foods that you need to achieve this uh, magnesium requirement. Now for men, it's about 420 milligrams per day. For women, it's about 320 milligrams per day. I'm primarily going to focus more on the requirements for men. And so when I cover this, just realize that it's gonna be a little less for women. But you know how important magnesium is since 40% of the entire population is deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is essential for generating energy, okay? It's essential for reducing the risk of cramps and helping reduce stress and cortisol and helping you sleep, not to mention reducing inflammation and helping with your blood sugars. And on top of all that, if you don't have enough magnesium, vitamin D won't work that well in your body. And on top of everything else, there are certain things that will bind up or lock up or deplete your magnesium, like sugars, refined carbohydrates and grains, certain medications, phytates, which are in all the grains, whole grains, okay? And oxalates too, which bind up magnesium and calcium as well. So let's go through the list. Almonds, okay? Almonds are high in magnesium. All you'd have to consume per day is like five ounces of almonds to get your required amounts. But the problem with almonds is that they are high in oxalates. All right, the second food that has a good amount of magnesium, because it also has a lot of chlorophyll, is spinach. The darker the green, the more the chlorophyll, the more the magnesium. And all you would need is if you had spinach is like two and a half cups of spinach to get your magnesium requirement. But the problem with spinach, it's also high in oxalates. All right, the next food is chocolate, dark chocolate. All you have to consume is a little bit more than about six ounces of dark chocolate to get all your magnesium. The problem with chocolate, it's also high in oxalates. What about avocados? Well, you'd have to have seven cups of avocado. You know, you cut it up and put it in cups uh, to get your daily amounts. And that's, that's quite significant. What about fish? Well, you'd have to consume like 14.8 ounces of fish. That's quite a bit. What about beef? Well, you need about four pounds of beef. Bok choy, you would have to consume 22 cups of bok choy every day to get your magnesium. What about zucchini? you'd have to have 19 cups of zucchini. What about eggs? You'd have to have about 67 eggs to get your magnesium, unfortunately. Eggs are really good for other things, but not necessarily uh, very, very high in magnesium. What about like iceberg lettuce? You would have to consume 57 cups of iceberg lettuce to get your magnesium. What about romaine lettuce? You would have to consume 30 cups of romaine lettuce to get your magnesium. What about other dark leafy green lettuce type uh, vegetables like Swiss chard or kale. Those two are good sources. You'd have to consume three to five cups per day to get your magnesium. Now there's a little secret or a little hack that you can do to consume almonds uh, and definitely spinach, okay? And other leafy greens that are high in oxalates. If you consume your spinach with a little feta cheese or other types of cheese in your lettuce, like I do every day, you can bind up oxalates with the calcium that's in the cheese, allowing the magnesium not to be bound up. Anyway, I wanted to bring this point up because a lot of people think, oh yeah, I'm getting enough magnesium for my diet when in fact they're really not. And this is why some people use supplements to enhance their diet because it's a bit difficult, especially if they don't have the right knowledge. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content and there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side. Now that you know that, if you have not seen my other very important video on magnesium, I put it up right here. Check it out.